soft complication, okay? We are still solving quadratics. When we solve a quadratic, we want to make sure it is set equal to zero. Here, instead of it just equaling a constant or a number, we actually have like terms. So what we have to do is we have to combine our like terms and get this side of the equation to equal zero. Our goal is to always keep a positive x squared because that's going to make our factoring easier. If you end up with a negative x squared, just move everything to the other side. It makes your life so much easier, okay? So here I have a 3x squared and a 4x squared. So I'm going to minus my 3x squared here, and I'm going to minus my 3x squared here. So that's going to give me 1x squared, and here, 0. I also have a negative 6x, so I'm going to add 6x here. Negative 6x plus 6x, that leaves me with 0, that's what I want. And here, I have a negative 7x plus 6x, which is negative x. Nothing happened to the negative 40, so it's 42, so it stays as is. Now we have a quadratic set equal to 0. We can go ahead and solve by factoring. Because my leading coefficient is 1, I can use my shortcut. Factors of 42, which are 6 and 7. Signs are opposite. Larger one is negative. So my factors are x plus 6 times x minus 7, and we're going to set each factor equal to 0. So x plus 6 equals 0, subtract the 6 over, and x equals negative 6. Then I take my x minus 7 and I set it equal to 0, add 7 to both sides, and x equals 7. So the two x values that will make my quadratic equal 0 are negative 6 and positive 7. Okay, again, go ahead and push pause. Give this second problem a try. Come back and check to see how you did. So I have a 7k here and a negative 3k here. So I'm going to minus my 7k over. And that's going to end up giving me a negative 10k. And here it goes to 0. Then I have my 5, so I'm going to minus 5 over. 13 minus 5 is 8. 5 minus 5 is 0. Nothing combined with my 3k squared, so it stays as is. So just be careful and make sure that you are only combining like terms. Like terms are based off of your variables and your exponents, so pay attention. All right, so I'm going to factor here. My leading coefficient is 3, so I have to take 3 times 8, and I get 24. The factors of 24 that will combine to be 10, I'm going to use 6 and 4. Signs are the same, both negative. Okay, so that gives me 3k squared minus 6k minus 4k plus 8, and I'm still set equal to 0, and I'm ready to factor by grouping. 3k squared minus 6k, they have a 3k in common, which leaves me with k minus 2. Negative 4k plus 8, since this is negative, I'm going to keep it. 4 and 8 are both divisible by 4. So negative 4k divided by negative 4 is k. Positive 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. So together, we have our k minus 2, and I'm left with my 3k minus 4. So now I take each factor, set it equal to 0. So k minus 2 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides, and k equals 2. And then I take my 3k minus 4, set that equal to 0. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So 3k equals 4. And I divide by 3, and k equals 4 thirds. So my two solutions that will make this quadratic equal 0 are 2 and 4 thirds. Okay, good luck with your solving.